Good morning, dear students. This year, we are going to deal with David Copperfield as your novel. In prep stage, we don't say story. We say novel. Novel, okay? Something written to be read by us and to imagine and to live with the characters as much as we can. David Copperfield is written by Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens, okay? You know well who is Charles Dickens, okay? Uh, in Oliver Twist, in uh, a lot of novels or stories as you used to deal with in a primary stage. Now, the introduction, some brief notes about Charles Dickens. Who is Charles Dickens? And I will explain the main characters uh, till you know them by yourselves. Now, who is Charles Dickens? Who is Charles Dickens? Dickens was an English writer and social critic. He was born on February 7th, 1812 in Portsmouth in England, okay? Charles Dickens was a great writer. He wrote a lot of masterpieces, okay? A part of your job is to surf the net to know who is Charles Dickens, okay? His parents were middle class. They were not very rich and they were not poor, okay? But they suffered financially. Financially means something deal with money, okay? His father became bankrupt. It means he lost his money, okay? And he couldn't afford the middle class level once more. When Dickens was 12 years old, his family forced him to quit school, means to stop school and work, to start his working at 12 o'clock, uh, 12 uh, years, sorry. Uh, within weeks, his father was put in debtor's prison. In the past, there was prison for debtors, okay? Not like nowadays. And it was different than the other prisons where Dickens' uh, family eventually joined him. After he was sent to prison, the family went to live with him in that prison, okay? That affected the rest of his life. Dickens was totally affected by what had happened to them. After inheriting some money, he returned to school. He returned once more to school after they inherited some money. Then he started his career as a writer and he became one of the most famous writers in the world. David Copperfield was his eighth novel. Okay? Now, the main characters. The characters that you are going to deal with in the whole novel. The first one is the David, the narrator. What is the meaning of narrator? The one who is telling us the story. Okay? You will find I, it means David. So while answering your questions, if I ask you to underline some uh, lines and while copying them, you, you must write he, not I. Okay, because I, it means you. The narrator of the novel, David is innocent, trusting and naive, even though he suffered abuse as a child. Abuse means bad treatment. He was treated in a very bad way by someone. Later on, we will know all the events in details. He is idealistic and impulsive and remains honest and loving. What happened to him didn't change his character. 
he kept his innocence till the end of his uh, novel, okay? Then we have Agnes Wakefield, David's true love and second wife. He married two times. Agnes was the second wife. The daughter of Mr. Wakefield, she always comforted David with kind words and advice when he needed support. Then Uriah Heep. Uriah Heep is a two-faced character. He used to show kindness, but deep inside him he was very uh, let's say evil, let's say bad, okay? So this character, we called him a two-faced character. He has two faces. Villain who put on a false show of humility, okay? All the details will be known while reading the novel and analyzing the characters, okay? Then we have Miss Patsy Trotwood, who helped David a lot, changed his life totally, okay? Although she was, at the very beginning of the novel, she wasn't a good character. You will hate her at the beginning, then you will love her by the end of the novel. David's <coughs> eccentric, kind-hearted aunt, although Miss Patsy's intentions are mysterious at the beginning, her behavior, uh, let's say you will think why she did that, but later on you will know. At the beginning of the novel, her generosity towards David soon becomes clear. So she changed. She acts as David's second mother. Then Clara Pegatti. David's nanny and the caretaker, caretaker, the one who took care of him all over his life. She was gentle and selfless. What is the meaning of selfless? She didn't think of herself. She always thought of the other people. Opening herself and her family to David whenever he was in need. Okay, she was a great supporter to David, and you will know that this while reading the novel. Now, chapter one. By the way, you must read the chapter very well, not less than two times before listening to the video. Okay, why? To understand the details. I will highlight the main points, but it needs your help and effort in the same time, okay? Uh, chapter one, let's start. The content of chapter one. What we are going to cover in this chapter First, the day David was born, he wrote about himself. Someone told him what happened on that day and he wrote to us what happened to him. So the first point will be the day David was born. Then David's early life with his mother and Peggy. By the way, you can say Pigotti and Peggy. Both are correct. In the names, you know, we can pronounce it the way whatever we uh, want. The third point, Mr. Murdstone, and we will know why Charles Dickens chose that name exactly while explaining Mr. Murdstone's appearance in David's life. The fourth and the last point, David's trip to Yarmouth with Pigot. Okay, let's explain the first point, the day David was born. David was born at midnight on Friday. He never knew his father as he died six months before he was born. David's mother, whose name was Clara, 
okay? She was 19 years old. She was very young. And she married to a man almost or twice or double her age, okay? Who was Mr. Copperfield. And that man died six months before David was born. So David was an orphan boy, okay, without a father. Uh, on that day, something happened. His mother was sitting and a strange lady opened the door without knocking. She was Miss Patsy Trotwood. Who was Miss Patsy Trotwood? His father's aunt. His father's aunt. Okay? She was uh, strange. The way she entered the house, the way she dealt with his mother, uh, she uh, insisted on making her feel uh, pain and she left her crying okay after the conversation between both of them okay she didn't approve the marriage okay let's know that on that day his mother clara received a strange visit the strange visit was from miss patsy trotwood as i told you from his great aunt patsy trotwood who spoke with clara in a rude way she spoke with her in a rude way Okay, just because she had married a man double her age. The third point, she left the house. Who is she? Miss Patsy Trotwood. Okay, let's know. Clara kept on crying till she felt pain. Okay, they called the doctor for her. She was giving birth to David. Okay, Miss Patsy waited for a girl. She wanted a girl. If David was a girl, she will be his godmother and she will take care of him. But in case he was a boy, she uh, will leave everything. And that's what had happened. She left everything, okay, when she knew that the baby was a boy. She left in a strange way and she refused to be David's godmother just because she wanted a girl, not a boy. The second point, David's early life with his mother and Pigotti. David used to live with his nanny, Pigotti. Okay, she was very kind. She loved him and his mother as if they were her own family. David's mother was a little bit young and she couldn't manage everything by herself. Pigotti helped her a great deal. David used to live happy life with his small family, his mother and his nanny Pigotti, who loved him very much. Both of them took care of David loved him very much, and they spent nights playing, talking, joking, so it was a happy life. They used to spend great time talking and reading books about crocodiles, alligators, and they were trying to teach David how to read. Now David is six years old. Mr. Copperfield left his wife and the unborn child and income, money, annual or yearly income, okay, of 105 pounds. On that time, that amount of money was enough to live a comfortable life per year, which was a good income to the family, okay? All that happiness was turned upside down by the appearance of Mr. Merd Stoop. This happy life, didn't last for a long time by the appearance of an evil character called Mr. Murdstone. Okay? Mr. Murdstone's appearance in David's life. His appearance turned everything upside down. Okay? Mr. Murdstone met Clara in the church 
where they used to go every Sunday to pray. Every Sunday they used to go to the church to pray. Mr. Murdstone met Clara, David's mother, once in the church and they kept talking, okay? He started to date Clara. It means he wanted to marry her, he wanted to propose, okay? But David didn't like that man. His deep voice, his uh, look, he didn't <coughs> look very kind for David. So from the very beginning, David didn't like that man. One day, David was waiting up to see his mother. When she came home, she was out with Mr. Murdstone. Okay, and David couldn't sleep until her return. When David came home, when she, sorry, came home from an outing with Mr. Murdstone, and finally she came. What happened when she came? David was waiting for her. It was the first time for her to go out without him. Okay, so his life started the changes. Okay. Mr. Murdstone was a man with dark hair. Dickens, by the way, he liked describing very simple details to show you who was that character. To take your impression about the character by reading the description, okay? He wrote that that man wa was with dark hair, mustache, who speaks in a deep voice that David didn't trust. By the way, Dickens chose Mr. Murdstone's name. Let's divide the word. Murdstone. Murd, it comes out from the word murderer. Okay? Murder, the one who kills people. Stone means the stone. So he mixed the two names together to show you a character exactly. Okay? And later on, we will know what that man would do to David. Okay? The fourth point, Mr. Murdstone insisted to, he wanted to shake hands with David, who refused to leave his mother's hand. So David gave him his left hand and his mother shouted at him for the first time. What happened? David was with his mother. He held her hand with his right hand like this. Okay, and they met Mr. Murdstone who wanted to shake hands with him. So David gave him his left hand. His mother shouted at him for the first time in his life. You have to shake hands with your right hand. So David was uh, sad of what happened. Then, the fifth point, Pigotti warned Clara from the man, saying that Mr. Copperfield didn't like him. Mr. Copperfield, before his death, he knew very well who was the man. He didn't like him. Okay, he knew very well that that man wasn't a good man. But Clara, as a 19 years widow, okay, and without a lot of experience in life, she didn't listen to Pigotti's advice. Okay, Clara thought that Pigotti was suggesting that she didn't love David enough. If she kept her relation with Mr. Murdstone, so she started to cry. Everything that happened to Clara, okay, she left everything and cried without solving the problems, as I told you, 19 years old widow. She always threw the blame on others, okay? In that point, she spoke with Bugatti in a, a way to show that she was innocent, but Bigatti intended to show David that she loves him more than her mother, his mother, sorry, more than his mother. And that was totally wrong. Bigatti advised her from her heart, she wanted to help her to stop her relation with that man, and she was right. 
The seventh point. David continued to be jealous of him, him, Mr. Murdstone. Because Mr. Murdstone was hanging around his mother all the time. She wanted to show, he wanted to show her his love, okay? Uh, that he cares, that he loves, but he was not, uh, I would, all that was not real. He wanted to deceive her, to make her love him, okay? To control her and her life. Mr. Murdstone invited David to a day out just to be friendly with him, okay? with some friends but David didn't enjoy that outing because all of them were older than him and they kept talking he didn't understand any of that David told his mother everything when he returned home about the day and what happened okay he met some friends okay and they kept talking about Clara he kept saying I love her I want to marry her just just in front of David just to tell his mother when he went home okay later on we will know exactly who was Mr. Murdstone and what he uh, did to David to change all his life from happiness to misery then Mr. Murdstone told Clara that he wanted to marry her and the marriage was soon. Pigotti, as a kind-hearted woman, she didn't want David to attend that marriage because he will be uh, sad, his heart will break and end. So she invited him to spend a fortnight, fortnight means two weeks, with her in Yarmouth her own country, okay? David was very happy, but he was a little bit worried about his mother. He didn't leave her before. Pigotti told him that everything will be okay and she will stay with a neighbor to take care of her. His mother accepted, okay? Uh, David was asked by Bigotti if he wanted to come to visit Bigotti's family in Yarmouth, a seaside town in England. David's pretty excited at the idea, but he's worried about his mother. What to do in his absence because they had never parted before. Never parted before, it means he didn't leave her before. Pigotti said it's fine Clara was staying with a neighbor for two weeks Clara his mother will be with a neighbor for two weeks then they took a cart to Yarmouth okay the driver of the cart his name was Mr. Barkis Mr. Barkis Mr. Barkis was the driver they gave him some food which he liked very much Okay, we got used to make delicious cakes uh, and she gave the driver some. He liked that cake very much. They finally arrived at Yarmouth where they met Ham who took them to Pigotti's house. Who is Ham? Ham was an orphan boy without mother, without father. Mr. Bigotti, um, uh, the brother of Miss Bigotti the brother of Miss Bigot. He was very kind, just like her. So he took care of Ham after the death of his parents. Okay, he raised him up. So Ham was uh, one of the family, as if he was one of the family. Okay, Ham took them to the house, which was in fact an old ship. The house was an old ship and they turned it to be a house. Uh, good painting, uh, the smell of the sea, the smell of the seafood, like this. Okay, David enjoyed that trip very much. Their home was a real boat. It was very clean inside. It smelled to fish because Mr. Bigotti sold lobsters, fish, like this. Okay, so it smells fish. <coughs> David met Dan Bigotti. Who is Dan Bigotti? Mr. Bigotti. Bigotti's or Clara Bigotti's uh, uh, brother. 
We got his brother <clears throat> and a lovely little girl. There was a girl, okay, Emily, Emily. So now three new characters appeared. Dan Pigotti, Ham and Emily. Ham and Emily, both of them were orphans and Mr. Pigotti used to help them to raise them up. <clears throat> Emily was exactly like Mr. Dan Bigotti's daughter. He loved her very much. She was in the same age of uh, Dave, whom David immediately liked. They kept on playing, collecting shells on the sea, and she told him that she hated the sea because her uh, father died while uh, fishing. Mr. Bigotti adopted Ham and Emily because they were orphans. David went to the beach every day with Emily, who told him that she was afraid of the sea because it had taken away so many fishermen, including her father. Then the trip came to an end, and David was excited, but Bigatti wasn't, because they will return back to his mother with the new life with the uh, appearance of Mr. Pigot, uh, Mr. Murdstone, okay, who uh, would have a very bad effect on their lives. Now, thanks a lot for listening.